Why? We have a strict schedule as part of an official term. And to take the man back to wherever he came from would be to turn back in entirely the wrong direction. It'd take days, maybe a whole week off our important schedule. We can make that time up. Well, the man's fortunate enough we saved his life. We'll simply drop him off at the next destination and that'll be that. He will be needlessly separated from his home, find himself in a strange country with foreign language, away from his family. Not my concern. Another vessel with less important duties might find time for such sentimental charity. We've done our important duties and are on the way home. We're effectively a glorified pleasure cruiser with an abundance of fuel and time to spare. So my decision as flag officer is no. And my decision as admiral of the fleet is that we do. <clears throat> There is only one person in command of the vessel. It's the flag officer. If you'd recall your naval training, you'd remember. I do recall my naval training as it happens. Manning command posts on destroyers during the war, the same war, which I believe you spent on shore duty. I have never abused my privileges, and I don't intend to start now, but this is the royal yacht. I am on it representing the Crown, and I say turn it around and take this man home. My dear friends, after 20 eventful weeks at sea visiting five continents and covering many thousands of miles, I'm happy to report that we saved our greatest adventure for last. As the Royal Yacht Britannia turned naval rescue and we fished a shipwrecked mariner out of the water. Our brilliant surgeons operated on him. Then we went out of our way to return him to his home, his family and his people. Oh, yeah, we're 